Hey, you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today, I am taking Dollar Tree stocking wreath forms and making these beautiful pieces of home decor. Let's jump in and get started. If you love budget-friendly DIY and home decor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll always know when we upload a video. So today I'll be using a Dollar Tree rug and pillow, a Dollar Tree bandana and automotive cloth, an old pillow sham, a floor mop, and a scarf. And I'm gonna be taking all these materials and making some beautiful Christmassy home decor. So I'm gonna take all those cozy materials and use these stocking wreath forms I found this year at Dollar Tree. Have you seen these? I have never seen them before, but I was super excited to get my hands on three so I could show you how to craft them three ways. To get started on this one, first thing we're going to do is deconstruct this Dollar Tree pillow and I'm under no illusions that this isn't going to be messy. So I'm just clipping off one corner so that I can cut it down one seam. I don't want to mess with any of the material. I want to keep as much of it as possible. So then I'm going to remove all of the stuffing from the inside and set that aside. And this is probably the weirdest pillow stuffing I've ever seen. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is cut the fringe off of both ends of my Dollar Tree rug because we're gonna save those and use them later on on this DIY. And now the fun part begins. I'm gonna trim my Dollar Tree rug in the shape of my stocking, and now I'm basically going to upholster this. There's really no other way to explain it. Just by putting down a little bit of hot glue and folding it around the frame until I have it all done. Now, this material is fairly thick, so I was in good shape, but if you're working with a, th a thinner material, please, please wear your finger protectors because I do this later on and I don't put my finger protectors on and yep, you guessed it. I don't understand why I still have fingerprints at this point. That's, that's where we're at. You guys, today's video is part of a collaboration with some of my great friends here on YouTube where we take one item and we craft it three ways. I'm gonna tell you all about it in just a minute. I'm gonna do some relief cuts here because I wanna make sure I keep that hook clear for actually using it to hang this up. So I'm just gonna keep working my way all around the stocking just like I was upholstering like a dining room chair or something like that, making relief cuts on the curved parts so that it's easier for me to fold it over and making sure I'm not using too much glue, but just enough that this looks really sharp on both sides. Now this stocking needs a soft and fuzzy topper and that's where the Dollar Tree pillow comes in. I have left it all in one piece so I can just slide it over the top, but again, I wanna make sure I keep that hook free and clear so I'm just going to make a tiny cut in the top and slide it right over. So now we're going to take the stuffing from the pillow and essentially re-stuff the pillow, but now it's a beautiful cuff on our black and white stocking hanger wreath decor thing. I have no idea what to call these, you guys. Once I figure I have enough in there and it's plump and cozy and well stuffed looking, we're just gonna use a fine bead of hot glue and glue it right down. And you don't have to worry about it looking perfect here because we are going to embellish this a little bit more. Then simply flip it back over and we're gonna do a nice clean close on here. So we're gonna fold the one side in first. Then we're going to put the top, this is like sewing, so it's so hard for me to explain. Just if you follow along, you'll kind of see what I'm doing. So you're gonna fold the top down, fold that under, and then run a bead of hot glue so you can glue that down. And it leaves a really nice clean edge so you don't have it looking really messy from the other side. 
Now I wanted my stocking to have a toe as well, so I'm simply using a little bit of the leftover pillow to create a toe, and we're gonna do it exactly the same way. Slip it over top, I'm gonna kind of figure out exactly where I want it, glue it down, and then flip it over, give the excess fabric a trim off, and then do exactly the same as we did with the Dollar Tree rug, and just trim it and glue it and fold it, and again, the neater you do it, the better it will look, not that anyone's really going to see this, of course, unless you hang it on a door, and then you might even want to add a backing to it. Okay, remember the fringe we saved from the Dollar Tree rug? We're gonna trim that a little bit closer and then we're gonna cut that piece in half and create a double layer of fringe just because it'll look a lot more full than it does if I was just to put one layer down. And then just to finish it off and give it a nice clean edge, we're gonna use a piece of this Dollar Tree Buffalo plaid ribbon right along the top where everything comes together, a little bit of hot glue, and then flip it over and just make sure it, it's got a nice finished edge around the back. Now there are so many fun ways to finish this off, Dollar Tree bows or this cute little tree topper that I was gonna use just for the star some great frosted fern, but I decided I had this ornament from Dollar Tree and I was just gonna use that. So I put it through the loop and that is actually going to be what I hang it from. I love this one. Now this one is so me and absolutely staying in my home for the holidays, but the next two we're making, well, those are for other special people in my life. Today's video is part of the Craft It Three Ways collab with some of my great friends right here on YouTube. I've collabed with Kat from According to Kat and Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine a few times, but new to our gang is Lini from Crafty Lini. And make sure you guys, you check out the playlist down below and you will see some amazing content from these amazing women. This super festive and Christmassy stocking is for my friend Tasha and her family. And this is an old pillow sham I've had kicking around. We're gonna use one of the Dollar Tree mop tops and this really cute scarf that I also picked up at Dollar Tree. We're gonna fly through this part because once you've seen it once, that's all you need to see. Do those relief cuts, it makes it so much easier when you're gluing everything down, keeps it really tidy. Then we're gonna move on to some fun stuff. Now using that mop top, we are gonna use it just as it is. We're not changing anything, but you can see, I wanna have access to the very top of that hook, again, just to make it easy to hang. So we're gonna put some hot glue down and just fold it over on both sides, super quick and easy. Now we're gonna use that Dollar Tree scarf to make a pocket on the front of the stocking. And I wanna keep as much of the red as possible just because I think it's gonna look extra Christmassy and special. So we're gonna trim off a piece of the scarf here and then we're gonna create what is basically a patch pocket. Think about what it looks like on the back of a pair of jeans. So we're gonna do some folding and hemming and hot gluing here to create the perfect size pocket for the front of our stocking. The best thing is there are so many different materials you can use to cover these stockings or to embellish them and create these pockets. And there are so many new wreath forms coming out at Dollar Tree. Just the other day, I did a star for my Macy's star on my Miracle on 34th Street video. We're gonna use a whole bunch of Dollar Tree greenery, glittery greenery, of course, to fill this pocket. Now, I did try this time the trick of spraying my glittered greenery with hairspray, and it definitely made a difference. I put quite a bit on, and I think I probably could have put a little bit more on, 
but my goodness, Dollar Tree put so much glitter on these that it would have taken all my hairspray to stop the glitter from coming off. I could only find this one piece of the red berries and I really wanted a bit more in there to tie it all together. So I'm going to grab a couple of my ribbons and make a really cute double bow. I have this red one and the one that is burlap with some red snowflakes on it and we're going to make a double bow. Now my apologies gang, I missed filming this part but I just went back and forth and twisted it and made a double layer bow. It's super simple and there are some great tutorials out there on YouTube for making bows. Then I took one of my Dollar Tree tags and glued it in place and now we're just gonna stick it all together. Now this is definitely, to me, the most festive and Christmassy of all of them, and I truly love the way this came out. I'm gonna take this to work tomorrow so Tasha can take it home and hang it up in her home for the holidays. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one too. If you've been with me for a while, I don't even need to tell you who this one is for. This one is for my mom and I told her I would be over tomorrow with a brand new hanger for her door. So I am using the bandanas I had left over from her summer wreath. I'm going to use the automotive cloth and I have this dish drying rack from Dollar Tree that we're going to use to pad it because the bandanas are so thin you would see the wires poking through from the frame. Now you guys, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And of course I did buy it to do something for my mom and never got around to it. Now, here's the thing. If you're looking at this, would you have used that dish dryer with its beautiful floral side up or would you go with the bandana? Tell me down in the comments which one you would have gone with. I have lots of fun embellishments for it, so you know what? It's time to get started on this one and you can see what I decided to do. So yes, I decided to use that drying mat just to pat it out because you know what? She absolutely loved the bandana when I made her and I thought it would be really fun to take those bandanas into another season. Now, the center of the bandana is so pretty and I so wanted to center that right over the center of the stocking. I did have to shift it just a tiny bit because otherwise it wasn't going to be long enough. So you can see I'm just kind of moving it around and back and forth to try and find the center of the pattern and get it on that sort of heart of the stocking. Now we're gonna trim it out and glue it on. And this is what I was talking about with the thin fabric. Don't be like me, wear your finger protectors because this fabric was so thin. I burned myself so many times. It's a good thing we were doing this sped up or you would have seen me pull my hands back many, many times. Now one of the things I love most about these bandanas is the paisley pattern around the edge. And we're gonna cut a couple of strips and use this to embellish the stocking. What we're gonna do is take the strip from either side. We're gonna glue them together in the center just with a teeny tiny bit of hot glue. And then we're gonna create the most beautiful embellishment. Now lay that right on your stocking with that center seam in the middle and right where your cuff will come down when you add that and then attach it and then just gathering it little bit by little bit with a tiny drop of glue, you're going to gather that up and create the most beautiful full ruffle as an embellishment on your stocking. I am absolutely head over heels with the way this one came together. I was so excited about it that I actually had some black and white bandanas and if I could have found another one of these wreath frames, I'm pretty sure I would have made another one of these. Well, will you look at that? 
I think that paisley ruffle is absolutely gorgeous. Now we want to finish this off as neatly as possible. So we're going to put the automotive cloth down right sides together just like if you were sewing we're going to put a bead of glue there and then we're going to press that into place then we'll flip it over and attach it just like we did with all the other ones over the top and around the sides to create a nice even beautiful clean finished look wait until you see how pretty this looks when we're all finished with the embellishments i cannot wait to take this over to my mom's and hang it on the door she was just commenting today that she needed to take down her fall wreath and i said don't worry i'll be here tomorrow i've got just the perfect thing for you hopefully i haven't oversold it and she loves this one as much as i do Okay, time to do the fun and pretty stuff. I have some beautiful frosted greenery and most of these are actually scraps and these really pretty pine cones I picked up last year from Dollar Tree. Now for this one, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm going to layer up all my different pieces of greenery and the little beads, and then I'm gonna use a zip tie, just like I do when I make a wreath to hold it all together. I'm gonna to put my gigantic snowflake on there, and now this is where I made a little mistake. I should have gone right through the little hook that's right on the hanger and just zip tied it all together. But I didn't. I zip tied all my greenery and embellishments together and then I ended up just gluing them on and they are holding up really well. Now keep in mind none of these stockings would be suitable for outside in an unprotected area. I have mine hanging on a door in the kitchen. It's actually for my laundry room and my mom's will be inside her apartment building. Just when I thought I was finished, I remembered I had this really pretty white crocheted lace ribbon and I decided to add one more layer to this. And I do think it did a beautiful job of finishing it off. Now, how about we get this hung up and I show you guys exactly how beautiful it is all finished. Well, what do you think? I think if you have any love of blue and white or any love of paisley or any love of a slightly different Christmas look, you are going to love this one just as much as I do. You guys know what I'm going to ask you to do next. Head on down to the comments and tell me which one's your favorite. Well, that is a wrap for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by Lisa and Company. Here's a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. And don't forget to join us over on Instagram where I show you my hauls, my milestones, and the crazy stuff that happens in my everyday life. Thanks as always for stopping by, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.